Hello, hello. Ralf from Nice Bastards. Um, people ask me for showing <clears throat> how my setup is uh, configured for getting the hardware and the software like Bitwig Studio connected. And here we go. Let's dive in and find out. So here we have Bitwig's settings page. I'm starting with the audio. So I'm using a ultralight mode tool in the moment, um, which connects all my hardware synths to that. Plus I can send out control voltage directly into the Eurorack. That's why I used the mode tool actually. But I want to switch in the near future to the ES8 for my expert sleepers for doing the same job. <clears throat> I want to have the module in the rack just for having the connection and then USB out to the computer and that's it. Um, but till then I use the Moto. So um, I have the microphone connected Then there's a Pittsburgh. There's, a, the, there's one output from the Eurorack coming in then I have the Digitech connected, then uh, a virus comes in as well, and then this two, Bustle 1 and 2. This is also coming from the Eurorack to record stuff from the modular. Then I record the soft pop, a little soon from Bustle as well, and I have my iDoc connected for, if I use the iPad for, from some, for some fun. And then the outputs from the Moto one is going to the speakers, and then I have four CV outputs going into the Eurorack if I need. And then one audio output goes to the multi clock. The multi clock has four MIDI outs as well, which I can synchronize the rest of my studio equipment. Then I have one channel going in through the soft pop. Um, <clears throat> I use that one for distorting um, sounds through soft pop and then record it back to Bitwig. And I have one channel for recording stuff into the Digitact directly if I want to use the Digitact for mangling up samples, whatever. And um, one thing about the multi clock, the first channel goes into my Pamela's workout to clock that one so I can synchronize the whole Eurorack system easily. Because the multi clock can shift the timing, you have knobs there for shifting the timing, and you even can introduce some grooves like swing uh, if you like. Then the second output goes uh, from the multi clock goes into the virus. Um, I don't use the software from virus because it sucks. And uh, I can get it much more stable with the multi clock. So, and then I have one more channel going into the iDoc for the iPad stuff and um, to get rid of all the latency you get introduced with the iPad. So that's gone as well, so everything stays tight and ready to jam around. What I also do is um, sending from the iDoc, if I need it, I can send MIDI information back to the Moto for recording sequences in Bitwig if, if I need. Um, then I had a force channel on the multi clock also going out to the yarns, multiple instruments yarns, um, for getting everything tight and synced. But in the moment, I use the Digitect for sequencing the yarns, which is a lot of fun. And I think I stay with that setup for a while. And, um, yeah, one more thing. Uh, beside the Moto, I have a Behringer 
ultra gain converter where my audio channels go into as well like the what's connected to soft pop to 101 in the moment <clears throat> and the virus and one output coming from the Eurorack otherwise I wouldn't have enough inputs on the ultralight to connect everything <clears throat> so there are a lot of channels in uh, coming in and out into the system but I'm quite happy now it's, it's working really nicely and it's stable and I will make another video um, where I run sequences from all the synths so you can see how it works have a nice one bye bye